Hello everybody, my name is Ned and today I'll be doing a video that's uh, a little bit different from what I usually do. As Valentine's Day is coming up and fan fiction is rife over the internet, someone has decided to modify some fucking fan fiction and post it on my channel and that little someone is that, that piece of shit x Rito Gaming. So basically what he's done is he's took some like Harry Potter fan fiction and posted it on my wall and, and now I feel obliged to read it out for, for Halloween and good vibes. So, uh, I, I'm so sorry for people that will be offended by this, but there, there are going to be scenes described of a very sexual nature that some may find offensive and triggering, ain't that right, Gary? After a hard day's work from the days of the exams, Ned, Exorito and Frank felt Ned's little dick. Okay. Okay. Okay! And he was tired, so they went back to the dorms at once. Frank felt intimidated by the sweat on Ned's face, and ex Rito as well. Nervously, Ned did not know what to do next. Each day he was falling more and more and more for Frank. But f did Frank know? He thought of something simple and invited that his friends into the boys' dorm. But before he could say anything... She he didn't even edit this right. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna read it word for word what he, he pasted. This is how shoddy he pasted it, because it's supposed to be Hermione. I feel like, um, I feel like my character is Hermione, I'm quite sure, so, okay? This is why it won't make sense. He thought of something simple invited her to the boys dorm, but before he could say anything, she invited him. Even if Ned wasn't allowed in the girls dorm, he felt an too anxious to refuse. As he went up holding Frank's hand, he can feel sweat dripping down from his chin and his legs. He didn't know what to do, but she quickly took control. They started off with a long conversation about school, but little did he know Frank was getting quite horny. Out of nowhere, in the middle of talking about how annoying Colin was getting to be, she kissed him. But only a quick peck, Ned returned it, but in a more passionate way. She slowly rolled her tongue around Ned's lips and then in his mouth. She was looking so sexy in the empty dark room, in her summer tight pink shirt, with jeans so tight you were able to feel the texture of her skin. He leaned, he leaned her onto the bed until she was fully on her back and then got into kissing a bit more. Exorito didn't know what to do until she, she took hold of him to take off his shirt, but he refused until she took off her pants. So they both did. She was in a sky blue thong that was so thin, you could see the moisture coming out of her shaved, smooth pussy. He took Frank's panties off and it was he was in heaven. He pushed his thumb against her clit and she yelled in a quiet but meaningful moan. After about five minutes of fingering, they both took off all their clothes. Ned took out his rock hard British cock and tapped it on her lips until she opened her mouth. She opened her mouth and pushed it in from cheek to cheek with her tongue. Crookshanks left the room with a wine. Now that's the first time I've never I've ever fucking heard of a cat leaving the room when something fucking frisky's going on. And that right, Gary. After nice oral pleasure in, Ned flipped her over on her knees and spread her legs open. He hated her from side to side until she started to have an orgasm. He didn't want her to come yet, and he, she didn't want him to come, or in Zach's case, not come. He fucked her condom free, and she, why is that gotta be, why do you, does that need to be mentioned? And she moaned so loud, her smooth skin and face so horny, her clit was so pink and she was so shaved, you would have mistaken her for a, a pedolicious girl. I feel, I feel like you, you added this in, Dorito, you piece of shit. After hours of long and hard fucking, they both came and she was riding his cock one last moan and they fell to the bed side by side. This was the best day at Ned's shit house that they've ever had. <laughs> that is until Hagrid came in and shoved his massive barrel sized cock into Frank until she bled to death. But for Ned, it was a dream come true. <laughs> P.S. Subscribe to x Rito if you have a big dick. If not, you have a small dick just like Ned. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I feel like he could have put a bit more effort into, you know, it making sense. But then, then again, there's like, there's like porn out there where the repairman's trying to repair a broken TV and it's not even plugged in. So, 
I'll give, I'll give you a 5 out of 10 for effort, Dorito. <laughs> Piece of shit. Please, please, no more really, really bad fanfiction. If, you, if you're gonna do it, make your own and don't steal obvious, obviously Harry Potter. And, and that's all I got to say. Um, have, have a really good Valentine's Day with your significant other if you're in a relationship. And if not, look forward to the 15th because one better call soul season two is coming out and, and two just free chocolate pretty much because the shops almost give it away after Valentine's Day. So, you know, win win for, for people that aren't in relationships. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and listening to this, this, just this. <laughs> My name has been Ned. This has been really, really bad fan fiction. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Do you want to give a Ned 5 in this kind of situation, Gary? Ready? Ned 5! <laughs>it's like a little extra special thing to try and take the burn away. Just netting his cat.